Anderson family stayed busy these past few weeks with multiple family-friendly events for Halloween. Well, that's if you call being scared to death family-friendly. Halloween kicked off with Trunk or Treat, a creative way for both parents and kids to stay busy and entertained. It's a good opportunity for everybody to come out, have some fun, get some food, play some games, and do some trunk or treating in a safe environment. This event gave participants a chance to show their creative sides. From Batgirl to Scooby-Doo, there was a large variety of trunks on display. Today they needed to be here by 5 o'clock. Our start time is at 6, so they only have an hour of time to set up. Uh, so it's deciphering what they want as a theme, and then hopefully each of our trunks have a different theme, and so each of the kids can go around and have fun with each of the different themes. Kids walked around in costume trick-or-treating from trunk to trunk. If gaining weight from eating too much candy was a problem, no worries. The Coral Reef Fitness Center found a way around that with their Ghosts and Goblins 5K run. This 5K run welcomed more than 50 participants in and out of costume early Halloween morning. The run started at Bamboo Willies on Taragi Beach with a turnaround point at Scout Beach. The run lasted for about 40 minutes, which gave runners enough time to head into work and get ready for a fun-filled night. Roto Drive was also covered with kids in their creative costumes, looking for the house dishing out the best and most candy. If the Roto Walk wasn't enough for chocolate enthusiasts, the Haunted House offered an hour of trick-or-treating before the real games began. The Haunted House this year was a huge morale event for the wing itself. So a lot of people were able to come out, kids, adults alike, and come out and get scared for Halloween. A lot of time and designing went into the actual building of the Haunted House. The beauty of being in CE is a majority of the folks that are in the squadron have this as a skill set already. So they were able to go in and do all the props and all the stuff themselves by hand, and it worked out very well. The multi-themed rooms had people on and off their toes throughout the whole haunted house. The crazy things I've seen, particularly in my room, was people falling over and having to crawl through in fear. Uh, we've also had people run out of the side of the building and not even complete the haunted house. Uh, we've had people turn around at the line after paying and turn around and run off. So, we've gotten some pretty scared people. Next year's Halloween is going to have a lot to live up to. Reporting from Anderson Air Force Base, Guam, I'm Airman First Class, Emeka Mo. Oh my gosh! <laughs>